Hey guys, welcome to another What's Unique About This Unique video. This time we take a look at a unique staff called Aziri's Rule. This staff drops from Uber Aziri only. While using this staff you cannot be stunned and your damage cannot be reflected. It grants you level 20 Queen's Demand skill. Using this skill will trigger other two skills, Flame of Judgment and Storm of Judgment. These skills are essentially like Aziri's Flame Blast and Storm Calls. These skills are considered as triggered skills, so you cannot support them with uh, gems like Second Wind, Archmage, Trinity. These skills also specifically cannot be supported by Spell Cascade, but you can use Spell Echo or Unleash, however it will cast both skills instead of repeating each skill multiple times. The skills also have 1.5 second cooldown, which can be reduced with increased cooldown recovery rate, although you may not need CDR unless you are making very fast clear speed build. Initial skill has 1 second cast time which is very slow and uh, you will want decent amount of cast speed to make this smoother but also to speed up flame blast expansion. A bit more about each skill. With flame of judgment you cast 2 flame blasts, one flame blast is always cast on your hector location and another one is cast on your mouse cursor. This way you can kind of control the position and either get more clear speed or make them overlap and hit wise. This flame blast also has 25% fire penetration and 50% chance to ignite enemies. And now prepare your pokers. These flame blasts have 650% effectiveness of other damage, meaning that getting 100 flare damage for example will give you 650 flare damage. The only other skill that comes close to that is Doriana's touch with 600% effectiveness of other damage. Another thing about these flame blasts is that their expansion is affected by duration and cast speed. Here's a cool visual comparison. I have 150% increased AoE from different uh, sources. Top left I added less duration support. Top right I removed less duration support and added faster casting support. Bottom part shows with faster casting, less duration and increased area of effect supports. As you can see duration and faster casting does not change the maximum AoE and less duration is much more important than faster casting. So you will most likely want to use less duration support gem either way. Now for Storm of Judgment skill, it creates 12 markers randomly around the targeted location. It is a bit harder to control and some of them will overlap and hit the same target. From my quick testing it seems that critical strike chance is rolled on cast and not on separate hit. So either all storms will crit or none of them will crit. Storm of Judgment skill has 250% effectiveness of other damage. Both skills by the way have 6% base critical strike chance. Uh, this storm skill also has 25% lighting penetration, 50% chance to shock enemies and 50% increased effect of shock. Duration affects delay before these storms strike the ground. Cast speed does not affect them directly. So in the end most likely you're gonna want to invest a bit of cast speed and uh, quite a lot of into less duration and reduced duration to make them uh, pop sooner. Since one skill is lighting and another is fire, you will want to scale them both by getting either spell damage, elemental damage, critical strike or something that scales both. For critical builds there will be more support gems to use, but it will require more investment to reach uh, good critical strike chance and uh, high level 92 plus to get most important notes from the passive skill tree, which is pretty common case in PUE. Since you cannot affect skill level from unique item, you cannot use empower or amulet that increases fire or lighting skill levels. I know some people play this as an ignite build and I'm sure they will burn in Aziris hell for making a unique skill and turning into another boring ignite build. So I will not be talking about ignites. Other support gems that work for this are control destruction, elemental focus, although you may not want to use it because lighting skills has increased shock effect. Then we got less duration and since both skills have good damage effectiveness, you may want to use either lighting support and elemental penetration. Combustion support requires enemies to be ignited and immolate requires enemies to be burning so those may not be ideal. You can also use inspiration support which reduces mana cost of queen's demand which by the way by default is 65 mana cost. Support gems won't affect it because the skill itself does not do damage but triggers fire and lighting skills. Inspiration will affect Queen's demand skill. So basically no matter what other support gems you add, it won't increase the mana cost. Then we can use new cruelty support gem, which doesn't have the most amazing damage multiplier, but there aren't that many gems to use. If you're doing critical build, of course you can use a power charge on crit support or increase critical damage. If you are somehow chilling enemies, you may also use a hypothermia. You can of course use energy leech support gem, but its damage changes if your energy shield is full or not. 
You may also even want to use new live tab support, but uh, then you cannot combine it with inspiration, because inspiration requires you to spend mana. Now just to remind you that these are triggered spells, so no totems, traps, channeling or things like that. I didn't mention all support gems because it really depends on build. You may want to try to fully convert lighting damage into fire maybe. Also a quick note, elemental equilibrium is probably not a good idea unless you plan on using it with admiral's body armor. And another quick note about the stuff is that uh, you do not need to link it, just get a sick socket and the right colors for your build. I'm already doing a build with this and I will post a build guide video later but from my experience it seems pretty good. Although sometimes it feels a bit random damage and during ultimatums that delay and cooldown could be an issue, especially if you do not have a secondary explosions like Impulsor. So got any cool ideas with this stuff? If so let us know in the comments below or come chat during my stream. Schedule and link is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.